Eight years old and a medical sensation. Kidney transplant is that when I go to a special sleep, I close my eyes and I don't, I don't see that I have my empty tube and the catheter and the wound drain and the milk drain. Aditi is the first person in the UK to have a kidney transplant and not need to be on lifelong drugs after. I am so proud of her. Yeah. She is amazing. She is doing very fine yeah. each and every day. That is because Aditi had a double transplant procedure. In the UK, almost 3,000 people have a kidney transplant every year. Normally, the patient has to take strong immunosuppressant drugs so their body doesn't reject the new organ. The difference with Aditi's case is that she also had a bone marrow transplant. First, she had heavy-duty chemotherapy. That erased her existing immune system, which had been affected by a rare genetic condition. Then she was given her mother's stem cells. These produced new blood cells, effectively reprogramming her immune system. All that before she underwent her kidney transplant. After a month after the transplant, we were able to take her off all of her immunosuppression, which means that she doesn't get the side effects of the drugs. Jane Harris knows all about those side effects. I take them twice a day, quite strict, 12 hours apart. Um, they do give me quite bad tremors in my arms and hands. It's not all the time, but usually after exercise, it's quite a lot worse and it can stop me putting my keys in the door and things. One of the biggest reasons of why you go into rejection or your organ fails is if you miss doses of your medication. So I need to be really strict that my medication is never forgotten. Aditi's double transplant procedure won't help people like Jess. I think science works in mysterious ways, but it is not a game changer for the almost 5,000 individuals in the UK who are currently waiting for a kidney transplant. It is for a small proportion of people that have gene disorders that give them both an immune issue and kidney failure. Three years ago, Aditi and her parents sat here discussing her future care. Now she is back at school, her body caring for itself. Sadia Chowdhury, Sky News in London.